Hello friends, welcome to automationtalks.com. This is video 21 of the Selenium tutorial series. Myself Prakash Norkhade, and in this video, I will talk about how to test all links on the web page if they are working. That is, find out broker broken links on the web page in Selenium web driver. This is one of the important test case in uh, in case of UI application test. That is, uh, let 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 me go to some website. Let us say, let me go to Google.com. On Google.com, there are various links. That is, this is link. This is link under this uh, uh, box. Th this is link. This is link. Right. So there are multiple links. Again, this is link, 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 link. Right. So there are multiple links. In the similar way, your application also will be having multiple links like this. Right. Multiple links. Multiple images. External links. Internal links. Right. So one of your test case should be check if all the links are correct if all the links are up if all the links are working fine right now how to do that the first way we can do it click on each link manually right and check if it works fine click on this Hindi and check if it turns to Hindi and if the web page open right but th this is very much time consuming we can automate this in automation what we can do is we can navigate to the web page again in automation we cannot click on each link we cannot click on each link and test if it is working fine right that is very time consuming if there are hundreds of link on your web page that is very time consuming right so even in automation we we, we, we will not go the uh, go by the way in which we will test by clicking on each link right so instead of that instead of that we will use one uh, class of jar HTTP client right so HTTP client okay so this HTTP client Java have various methods uh, and which we can get we can get the response codes right we can we can connect we can set a connection we can disconnect then we can get a response code right so there are there are various methods within this uh, jar right so what you can do is you can download this jar you can down we, you can just download this jar and you can add it in your um, selenium projects right uh, so bro broken links is nothing but the links which are not behaving as expected the links which are not opening right so let me let me show you so that so there are multiple response code status codes of the web I have a, I have it in my blog so So these are the codes. Uh, the number starting from two that indicates it is a success. Number starting from three that indicates it is moved permanently or not found. Num starting from four that is 400, 404. You 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 might have encountered a 404 error sometimes. That is web page is not found, right? So this four starting from four is due to a client side error that is bad request forbidden or not found. Number starting with five is due to a server side error that is internal server error server is down or something like that right so <coughs> if if our links are up and working perfectly then we should get a code 200 we should get a 200 response code that means it is a okay right that means the link is up and perfectly fine that is link is okay but if we get other than 200 then that means there is some problem that problem could be due to any reason not found mood permanently forbidden bad request not found internal server error C can be due to any reason right so we can get that reason as well right so <coughs> as I said you have to uh, download this HTTP client uh, I have I have already added this HTTP client okay so this is the HTTP client I have already downloaded and added uh, 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 on my 
selenium project so what you can do is you can go to java build path build path configure build path and here you can add the jar which you will be downloading from here that is HTTP client right now how to test uh, let me go to Google <coughs> uh, first first thing is what I need to do first first I need to get all the links from this page right so let me create one class Right, so first thing is get all links into a list then second thing is get the URL from list then check if the URL response code is 200 if it is 200 that means it is working if 200 link is up and working expected right, so th these are the two steps we will be using right so I have uh, okay let me cop okay instead of writing the code I have already written this code over here so what you can do is <coughs> sorry you can download this HTTP client from this link I have given the link right and I have given the code I'll just copy this code and I'll explain you the code okay it is under demo package one broken links okay I have already this uh, code here now I'll take you through the code okay this this is for opening the browser I have opened the browser web driver using uh, this then I am navigating to google.com then I am getting the tag name A that is links tag name A means link tag name anchor means link uh, links into a list and name of the list is element list I am printing it then I am getting images <coughs> link for images tag name for images is img right and I'm getting it into the list image links then what I'm doing is I'm adding this list into this list right so element list dot add all and image links so I'm adding image links into a element list so that I, I'll be using this e element list only because it will have now this links as well as this links right now in element list I have all the links that is this link with uh, anchor tag and with IMJ tag that is image now since we, we are we are going to use this HTTP client in HTTP client <coughs> we have a method called as HTTP URL connection this is an interface this is an interface you can find I over here this is an interface so <coughs> what we can do is we can create a object of this interface right so okay before that what we'll be doing is I, ha I have declared this class HTTP URL connection which will be used to set the connection so I have set the connection to null as of now then I have list this element list element list then I'm, I'm, I'm iterating on this element list one by one by using this for each loop right so this is for each loop so I'll be getting this uh, each element from this element list right so element dot get attribute href from this element list from on the, from the first element I'm getting its attribute href href means link right so in URL I will have a first link now in URL I will have a first link now now what is my job <coughs> if if the URL is not null if URL is not null that means some URL is present and if the URL doesn't contain JavaScript because if URL contains a JavaScript it will fail right so my check should be if URL is not equal to blank and URL doesn't contain a JavaScript then for this first URL which I have got from here what I'll do is I will create an object of this uh, interface 
HTTP URL connection. I cannot create object directly, so I have to cast it, right? HTTP URL connection and <coughs> cast it with URL. How I can get URL? New URL and this URL, right? So this is how I can get a URL. And then I am opening connection. Once I have created a connection, I have to open the connection. So I will be opening the connection. Once I have opened the connection, I will connect by using dot connect method. So all these methods that is open connection, connect, set connection, timeout, all these methods belong to this HTTP client. That is this HTTP URL connection interface. Now, once I have connected and I have set some timeout, this timeout is not necessary, but for separate side, I have given this timeout. Now, it will connect to which URL? This URL means this URL that is the first URL obtained from this list. Now, from for, for this connection, I will get a response code from uh, by using this method get response code method right con dot get response code right and i will print that response code right now you you will get to know okay if response code is 200 your link was up and worked perfectly if it is other than 200 there is some issue with your link right so then finally once all the links all the web elements got processed i am disconnect the disconnecting the connection and quitting my browser right uh, so i hope you are clear with this code let me run this and show you Okay, something is happening over here. A browser is open. Okay, it is opening google.com. It has opened google.com. Now just observe over here. It will print your all links. There are 53 links on the web page. There are there is one image present on the web page, and now you can see the connection status for each link 200 second link 200 third link 200 for each link it is 200 just for this link translate link it is 403 that is forbidden link right again for books it is 401 which might not be accessible from my end that is why i'm getting this but for uh, rest of the links i'm getting 200 that means connection is up and working as expected right so for uh, for most of the things i'm getting for almost all, I'm getting 200. That is, connection is okay. Links are up. Right. So that's how we can test for a broken link. If for any of the link, if you see this 401, then just just check your uh, uh, the status and uh, you you can configure it the code in your way. If the link is uh, if the uh, what I can say if the response code is other than 200 then you can write some code if it is 200 then you can write some code right so you can configure it in your way but right but this is how you can find the uh, re response code and you can test for broken links that is you can test for all links on the web page if they are working fine first thing you need to get the links into a list then you can do uh, you need to iterate onto the list and get the response code for each link by using http url connection interface of http client char right so <coughs> okay so that's it i have for this video tutorial uh, 21 uh, uh, for more videos uh, visit the space automation talks.com do subscribe to my channel thanks